video in this video I'm just working on um, a workshop that I'll be doing at the uh, end of this month it is currently January 9th I believe and I'm freezing I'm working upstairs because I'm just way too cold to go down to my studio so I'm working at the kit at the dining room table and um, it's really cold today. It's like minus three outside, which is not very common for here. I mean, it can get cold. There are days that it gets pretty cold here. Oh, but I just, I don't do well in the cold. I can't tolerate cold temperatures. So I'm here um, working on like a little art activity that the kids will be doing. It's a language learning with art course. Well, not really course, workshop. And it's for very beginners. And I am using a bear as the character uh, to help them learn some basic phrases and things to say. It's very, very basic. So they'll be learning like, I am and my name is and just like the first and second pronoun. Things like the, the things on the face, the things on the face. The, you know, eyes, nose, mouth, ears, head, hair. They'll be learning just some words, like since it's a bear and the activity is to create a little cutout of a bear and he'll be holding some of his favorite items, which I have here, and my husband's working upstairs, which I have here in a little pouch or a basket. I'm not sure yet what they're gonna be creating. I'm still working on that. And then they'll have an activity book where they'll be coloring things in and drawing things in. For example, here you can see like a little person. I might change it. It was just a quick, a quick um, sketch, and I always use colors for sketch of the human being for them to add the eyes, the mouth, the nose. But I'll be finishing all these things up in Procreate, but like for example here, you can see the little bear showing the eyes. And then down here, I was going to do just a standalone bear face so that then I can add like different hands to different areas of the face. And that'll be our first workshop. And then if there are kids that want to continue to learn, then there'll be more. And it will all be doing art activities to learn the language for young kids. So that's what I'm working on today.
Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Uh, it is Monday the 15th and I am back from the university. I am in my studio. I don't have that much time because I took a nice long lunch to do a little bit of work upstairs on the computer. But now I am going to clean my messy studio. <laughs> so you can see that I did not pick up. Uh, so now I'm gonna do that because if I don't pick up, I just can't focus, that's just, how I am. So enjoy this little time lapse of me cleaning up. And done. So that's as good as it's gonna get in the time frame that I have. I have the table all cleaned up, with all the supplies that I need, and now I can sit down and work. So what I'm going to be doing is I need to create a new illustration for my website and I need to create little little itty bits to show certain types of workshops that I'm going to be doing and so I wanted to actually use the Moleskin Art Creation, I believe it's called, sketchbook and I wanted to show you what I found when I was unwrapping it. Okay, so uh, let me move my computer out of the way. Need that for reference pictures. Okay, so this is just my calendar, my agenda, where I write ideas and what I do every day. And, you know, so I have some ideas in there that I need to put up on the website. And so I need to see which things I need to design. And so this is the new, my new. I had already purchased one of these and I can show you. It's very old. So this is my old uh, moleskin. Hold on, you guys are kind of dark. Okay. Yeah. So this is the old moleskin and it's a dark blue. The new one is black, which I like black. It's very classic. And, and this one, I believe is like from, I don't know when. A while ago, but a lot of these are from 2020. It's from life, drawing, and dreams, writing down a lot of dreams, bugs, watercolors. This is actually from a Patreon session, I think, Emma Carlisle. Yeah, with emotions. And I really enjoyed the sketchbook. The paper is really good. I really enjoyed it. And it was in this sketchbook that I started really to explore. This was a workshop I did. Oh, I forget her name. But it was about personal symbols. Creating personal symbols. Sigils. See here. Like you would grab a word and then you you get rid of the vowels. And then with the, the letters that are remaining, creating a, like a pictograph out of it with your own iconography. So for example, power, person in power, like a power pose, you know, tears, sadness, wind motion, throwing away. And it was like, this was during a very dark time. <laughs> very, very dark time, which I used art to express myself, creating monsters. I was creating a lot of monsters back then and well, it makes sense. It makes sense. This was during an art class that I gave in a church. We sat down in a church and just drew. It's very nice. But so yeah, so this is the Royal Talons. And it behaves really nicely with pretty much all materials. I like that drawing into that one. And I guess I wrote some things down in here as well. Oh, friends. But this was a sketchbook that I kind of kept to a side because they're more expensive. So I, and the paper's really nice and sick and thick. And thick. Should do something on the, on the wonky pages. But so what I wanted to show you is that when I removed the plastic, 
and the little piece of paper that wraps around it. This is the piece of paper that wraps around it. And I looked in here and I saw there were angles and lines. And it comes with a paper compass. So you put your pencil on here. Put one pencil here to hold it down. And then the other pencil on whichever degree you want. And then you rotate the page, you know, with your pencil on that mark. And it creates it. How cool is that? You're supposed to do little holes in these right here. They're little circles. So you prick a, a hole in there for the tip of your pencil to go in. And you can create. How cool. And then here it has all the angles. So, you know, for drawing, if you need a certain angle. I thought that was really neat. And here it shows you line weights in points. And so that will be stored in the little compartment that all moleskins have, this little folder thing here. Oh, look, that's a new page. And this one, I don't have that. I mean, I have the little the thing here to store. Oh, and I kept an old one. This one also has it. So I probably saw this and kept it and I just didn't remember. So typical me. So let's see, in this last page of the Moleskin, it says, every Moleskin notebook is a book yet to be written and a story waiting to be told by Maria Sebregondi, which is the Moleskin co-founder and president of Moleskin Foundation. It says here, the Moleskin Foundation is a nonprofit organization that believes access to creativity and quality education is the key to producing systemic social change. The foundation uses unconventional education to encourage marginalized youth to access to creative skills, unlocking their potential and transforming their communities. And yeah, the paper is the same. And I, I love this sketchbook. It's really nice paper, really, really nice paper. And it's cream colored because I am not a fan of white sketchbooks. I am afraid of the white page, literally. I don't like it. That's why I have difficulties drawing in my iPad, I believe. So I was going to use this first page for something useful. I'm going to write the date in here as I always do. So it is January, and I always write it here. January 2024, and let's see when I finish it. So since this one is more expensive than the Royal Talons, I tend to be more careful with it, but I don't really want to be. I don't want to be that way, and I think I will be buying more of these. I would like to get this E4 size because that's the size that I truly like to paint and draw in. But for now, let's, uh, let's, let's go ahead and paint in this one. So I broke its back, as you do with any good loved sketchbook and book. And now I'm going to look for my references. I wanted to do, um, yeah, a new little design for my, let me write this down. I needed to do a new little design for, I have some to-dos here. So I have to prepare which I already did, that was for the university. I have to prepare stickers for the atelier and a wall sticker. But I also wanted to create a 10 session card. And so 10 session card, window sticker, for like a sign for my atelier. And then website. Okay, good. And I need to send the PDF for my workshop. I have this workshop, bilingual German French workshop coming up on the 21st, and so I need to send the PDF so it can be printed as a workbook. Okay, so let me look for my reference and I will be right back.
it and I wanted to show you the final illustration. Lately I've been having a lot of fun creating these small little scenes. Don't know exactly if this is what I want to focus on. I do love character development, but I think combining them would be definitely the way to go. And I collaged this little boat in just because I preferred to do that versus painting it on there. And I added a little France in the image, which, you know, why not? And then uh, the digital version, will, which I'll post like right here, I just highlight a bit the, the letters and give it just a little bit more of a highlight where the light is hitting, um, but that's it. But I had a lot of fun making this. The page you can see buckles a bit, but it's pretty much the same thing as with the royal talons. Let me pull back. Pull back. So it's pretty much the same thing with the royal talons. It also buckles a bit. So I mean, it's not a huge thing. And it buckles. So it's fine. It's pretty much the same thing. I mean, the paper, the color of the page is a bit different. This one's a bit lighter, as you can see. See, this one's creamy, this one's ye more yellow. This has a smoother finish. This has a tiny bit of a texture, not much. But yeah, so that's that illustration. And now I'm going to do a bit more work. I'm going to do red for the wings. Muy bien. Thank you. 